Almost 12 hours ago I picked up my brand new Nintendo OLED Switch. And so far I played for around one hour. The rest I spent for testing. Testing like this. Enjoy. And of course, now we like to know the test results. The test results what I have measured with my little colorimeter here. But before we do this, um, if you're new to my channel, do me a big favor. Take a moment, subscribe now to my channel. I would much appreciate it. And now, let's talk about the results. Okay, should we now start with the bad or the good news? I would actually say let's start with the bad news because then we can focus on the good news, okay? So I have done a lot of measuring in terms of color and grayscale and with grayscale we're starting and um, let me tell you we have 340 candela maximum peak brightness but with a uh, or let's say like this not in the standard settings so to get the maximum peak brightness you need actually to disable the automatic brightness as you can see right now can you see the difference in terms of the picture brightness so when if the automatic brightness setting is turned on then you're not ending up with 340 candela okay so of course the the slider needs to be on the right side to get the maximum peak brightness but the most important thing is actually turn off the automatic brightness settings and then you get 340 candela or at least on my OLED switch it is 340 candela so let's have a closer look on this grayscale and if you're a little bit familiar with calibration you can already see that's not a good result not at all i'm actually a little bit disappointed to be very honest but there is let's say like this with a very easy two-point calibration settings on the oled switch we would be able to fix this because what we can see here this is very consistent you know we don't have bumps or, or hiccups or whatever this is very consistent and the only thing at the moment what i would actually say is the red one is a little bit too um, yeah, undersaturated. We need a little bit more red to get a better color temperature. I mean, okay, blue is also a little bit too much, but this is not too bad. But red is absolutely undersaturated. We would need a touch more red and then we would have a much better result. So, and of course, what I've done is I tried different brightness settings if there is a, a change or a difference in terms of the grayscale and this is now with 200 candela and you can actually see there is not much of a difference okay so we can't unfortunately change the outcome in terms of the grayscale with uh, changing the um, brightness it is not working unfortunately so good news is we have very good gamma very good gamma so the gamma is 2.2 uh, and also what you can see is very consistent maybe a little bit too bright at the end but this is very actually really complaining on a, on a very high uh, level i'm very happy with the gamma because this is very very straight so the only thing at the moment out of the box setting and yeah out of the box i mean we can't do anything that's the problem we can't adjust this not at all so Nintendo, all what we need is a two-point calibration on the Nintendo OLED Switch. That's all what we need. Because I'm quite sure, because it is, this is so consistent, we can easily fix this with a simple two-point calibration. That's all what we need, Nintendo. But right now I have to say, out of the box, grayscale, not very good. Okay, but now let's talk about the good news, colors. And yeah, as you can see, I have two folders here. One is named normal, the other one is named vivid. And yeah, let me show you something on the Nintendo Switch. So in the system menu, when we scroll a little bit down, we have the option point console screen vividness. And the standard setting or the factory setting when I turned on my OLED Switch for the very first time, was with it and I found that the colors are looking absolutely oversaturated. So at some point I found this setting and I changed this to standard and it looks much more pleasant to my eyes. And I will show you what I'm talking about. So let's go back to my measurements. And we're starting with normal, okay? 
So we have here our REC 709, REC 709 color gamut um, field or yeah picture. And what you can see here is actually that just green is a little bit too much and yeah, we're not hitting any color on the spot. Just red is almost perfect in my opinion. The, the uh, brightness from the colors are also not, not very nice, but anyway, that's a different story. But at least the color gamut, uh, the triangle here is very, very close to the standard. And this is much better in my opinion for my eyes. For me, I like this much better over, and I show you this now, over the vivid mode because that is what you get when you don't change your Nintendo OLED back to standard. Can you see this, this white color gamut, which is great. That means we have a very nice working OLED screen, but to be very honest for OLED screen, I was not expecting anything else, but this is way too much for displaying REC 709 or SDR, let's say like this, because all what we have on this Nintendo OLED is SDR, full stop, there is no HDR, nothing at, nothing like HDR. So that's why this mode is in my opinion absolutely wrong, but of course if you like it then go for it, but if you like to have a standard colors, then I would strongly recommend to change the settings, the setting to normal or to standard, sorry. And even then, when we do this, we're ending up with this, um, yeah, Delta E error, so you can see the, the white point is completely, yeah, not good at all. The grayscale is not good, but as you can see, at least we have a little bit, um, yeah, better Delta E errors in terms of uh, with the colors uh, compared to the, the grayscale, but still not very good, but much better in the uh, normal than when I show you this now in the vivid mode. When we're going here, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong picture, just hang on. This one here, can you see here? We have 8.1, 9.1, 32 is the, the better one actually. 6688, absolutely wrong in my opinion. But of course, as always, this is absolutely up to you. If you like to have a color gamut on very vivid colors, then go for the option vivid. So and for everybody else, I would recommend to change this setting, console screen vividness to standard to have a more pleasant picture, not too oversaturated colors. So, but that's of course is absolutely up to you. So, as you can see, I downloaded already a lot of demo versions and so far I really just own two games, Zelda and Meteoroid Dread. And yeah, I'm of course going to buy new games as well, but not this month probably because it was already very expensive. Anyway, um, I'm looking forward to do a little bit more testing of course and I will do more videos about Nintendo OLED Switch so make sure again if you're new to my channel subscribe to my channel do me the big favor and um, leave a comment what do you think about the yeah color the two different for, uh, modes actually standard and vivid and what do you think about the um, grayscale calibration or grayscale measurement not a calibration and again Nintendo please if you watch this and I'm quite sure you will watch this video because this will get million of views. Um, we just need a two point calibration in the option menu. A very simple two point calibration. And I'm not kidding. I like to calibrate my Nintendo OLED switch full stop. Why not? And it is possible. It is possible to put this yeah, option in. But anyway, okay, anyway, um, that's for this video. I think I will continue doing more videos. I have already more ideas what I have to do and I'm running out of time. It's unbelievable. Anyway, thank you very much for watching me. I see you guys next time. Bye.